DTG 3675 Operation Instructions Let's get started with the different axes and degrees of the machine. One number of degree A and degree B is equal to one degree. One number of degree C is equal to two degrees. One number of spindle dial wheel rotation is equal to five degrees. To sharpen the 4 flute end mill cutter, we will fit the 12 V9 diamond wheel first. First of all, we will set the spindle to neutral. For that, we will gently push the spindle dial wheel forward and lock it with the locking bolt. Now, to set the position of the end mill, we will fit the 4 flute end mill cutter in the ER40 MT5 collet holder in such a way that it can rotate freely. Unlock the B degree and lock it at 177 degrees. Unlock the C degree and lock it at number 3, that is, plus 6 degrees. Set the spindle dial wheel pin on number 9. To sharpen the edge of the end mill, we need to follow only three easy steps. Step 1. Procedure to sharpen the back relief. Gashing process. To sharpen the four flute end mill cutter, we will make a joint edge, which is also known as gashing process. Bring the end mill and diamond wheel closer using the X axis and Y axis. After that, align the diamond wheel and the face of the joint edge flute parallel to each other. After the alignment of the end mill cutter is done, lock the collet nut. Now, using both the X and Y axis, take the end mill a little farther and switch on the machine. To sharpen, bring the wheel closer to joint edge of the end mill cutter using the X and the Y axis. According to the requirement and depth, remember the number on the Y axis, which is 75 degrees in the video. Now. Without moving the x-axis, using only the y-axis, take the wheel away from the end mill cutter, set the spindle dial wheel pin on number 9, which is on the opposite side of the current number 9. This will sharpen the second edge of the joint edge flute. Using the y-axis, bring the wheel closer to the joint edge of the end mill cutter and sharpen to the depth equivalent to the depth which was required to be remembered as mentioned earlier. Using the y-axis, take the diamond wheel away from the end mill cutter and set the pin on number 18 instead of number 9. Using the y-axis, bring the split line flute of the end mill cutter closer. Sharpen it to the required depth, keeping in mind the number 95. To sharpen the second split line flute, move the Y axis away, set it to number 18, which is on the opposite side of the current number 18. Move the Y axis towards end mill cutter split line flute as per the required gradual to give the depth of the cut. Here, we must keep in mind the number 95 as seen in the video. We will then take the diamond wheel away from the end mill cutter by using the X axis and Y axis. Step 2. Relief Cut Procedure 
First of all, to generate the relief cut of the end mill cutter, we will switch off the machine and replace 12 V9 grade diamond wheel with 11 V9 diamond wheel. Now, we will unlock the B degree and lock it at 97 degrees. Then, we will unlock the C degree and set it to number 2 before locking it, which is equal to plus 4 degrees. Remove the spindle dial wheel from number 18 and set it to number 8 and switch on the machine. Bring the relief cut face of the end mill cutter closer to the diamond wheel with X axis and Y axis to sharpen the relief cut. Here, we need to remember the number on X axis which can be seen as 50 in the video. We will only use X axis in the next process and keep the Y axis in the same position. And we will set the spindle dial wheel pin to opposite number 8 from the current number 8. We will move the X axis towards the diamond wheel and remember the number which is 50 according to the video. This will generate the edge of the relief cut on the other side. Using only the X axis, we will set the diamond wheel away from the end mill cutter and we will set the spindle dial wheel pin to opposite number 17 from the current number A. Again, we will use the X axis to bring the diamond wheel to the number 40 which we had noted before to generate the relief cut on the third edge. Using only the X axis, we will set the diamond wheel away from the end mill cutter and we will set the spindle dial wheel pin to opposite number 17 from the current number 17. We will then use the X axis to bring the diamond wheel to the number 40 which we had noted before to generate the relief cut on the last edge. Step 3. Cutting Edge Procedure To generate the cutting edge of the end mill cutter, we will unlock the C degree and set it to number 1 which equals to plus 2 degrees. Now, we will remove the spindle dial wheel pin from number 17 and set it to number 6 and start the machine. Using the X axis and the Y axis, bring the diamond wheel closer to the cutting edge face of the end mill cutter. Remember the number on X axis here, which is 85 in the video. We will only use X axis and leave the Y axis in the same position. Now, using the X axis, we will move the diamond wheel away from the end mill cutter and set the spindle dial wheel pin from number 6 to the opposite number 6. Then, we will rotate the X axis to bring diamond wheel closer to the second side of the cutting edge, which can be seen as 85 in the video. Now, using the X axis, we will move the diamond wheel away from the end mill cutter and set the spindle dial wheel pin from number 6 to the number 15. Then, we will rotate the X axis to bring the diamond wheel closer to the third side of the cutting edge which can be seen as 40 in the video. Using the X axis, we will move the diamond wheel away from the end mill cutter and set the spindle dial wheel pin from number 15 to the opposite number 15. We will rotate X axis to bring the diamond wheel closer to the last of the cutting edge which can be seen as 40 in the video. Now, rotating the X axis and Y axis, move the end mill cutter away from the diamond wheel. Unlock the C degree and lock it in a vertical position and switch off the machine. Your end mill cutter is ready to cut again by following three easy steps on this user-friendly machine.